What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Real. So, today's video, I want to show you guys what I believe is the best bomb formation in Madden 22. So, if you enjoy this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn those post notifications on. So, uh, I'm actually in the Panthers offensive playbook. Again, I'm in the Panthers offensive playbook. Now, please make sure you check the description because this playbook is in a uh, number of this formation is in a number of playbooks. I believe it's in three in total I know the Panthers for sure obviously, but there's two others I think one of them spread and there's another one that I'm forgetting about but just check check the description and see if it's in your offense But guys this offense not even lying to you like, you know, normally youtubers exaggerate saying oh, this is the best offense This might really be one of the best offenses Especially if you have like a um, you know, like a little route chem like a slot apprentice or something like that like this offense could be really really uh meta so uh as far as personnel goes before i get too excited uh what i found to be the best is put your best receivers on the outside that's where you want them at and then um it really helps to have a nice tight end a receiving tight end now it's not mandatory but it's really nice to have one uh since uh unfortunately you cannot actually sub in a receiver right here uh, unfortunately but you just want to make sure that you have uh your fastest receivers on the outside and a pretty good tight end um now it helps to actually have like a a mobile quarterback it actually helps because this offense is just you know pretty crazy so for one they have outside zone which is pretty rare to have also they have inside zone of course and they also have have back base so we're talking about three dominant runs already and um now imagine this offense whenever rpo uh was a thing oh man this offense would just be insane but um anyways moving forward um they have this uh pa read which is really nice uh red zone have back scissors which you know that running back route is really really nice as you guys know uh, of course, they have four verse Now, this Panther spot is pretty cool uh, with that spot route. Um, now, also, they do have this uh, doubles post, which is really nice as well. So, a lot, a lot of nice plays in this offense, man. Uh, be ex definitely expecting a part two on this. And who knows, this probably could be my main offense if I, you know, play around with it more and I actually like it. Because they're just, you can actually bomb coverages from both sides of without ha having any tail whatsoever, without having to flip the play. And it's crazy. So basically, I'm going to show you that in this video. And the plays that I'm talking about is going to be PA bubble Y over. And I'm going to be talking about this, um, where is it, that doubles post right here. So I'm going to come out and, yeah, I'm going to come out in doubles post. And I'm going to just show you guys just how good this formation is, man. So first and foremost, I just want to show you guys that uh, zone drops are not on. Um, now, the reason they're not on is because I can simulate on here what it looks like if your opponent was his zone drop. Now, obviously, that doesn't mean they're going to play that death, but I'm going to simulate pressing versus non-pressing. Or if you want, zone chuck versus non-zone truck. Zone chuck, basically. Um, so, let's start off with cover three. Now, um, I got the ball in the middle. Just, just uh, I can't talk. So, I have the ball in the middle just to show you that it doesn't matter which side we bomb it to. But obviously, if you're trying to bomb it to the right side of the field, so if you're trying to throw the ball this way, like bomb it over here, then you'd want the ball to be on this hash mark. Why? Because we want our uh, route to be to the wide side of the field. So that's just how you use that. So for example, if I wanted to bomb this side of the field, then I would have the ball on this hash mark because I'd want my um, bomb to come from the wide side, if that makes sense. So um, basically, I'm having it in the middle just to show you guys that you don't really, you know, that it can be ran from both sides. So. Anyway, without further ado, man, let's get into this. So, with this play, we're going to bomb it to the left side. Well, to the right side, technically. So, what we want to do is um, we just want to take triangle. I like to actually put him on a hitch. Or I like to put him on a streak, depending on uh, what's happening. Now, um, the streak actually doesn't hold the safety like you think it does. So, you can really just be safe putting him on a hitch. And I like to take circle and actually put him on a drag route. Um, and normally, I love to run it just like this. Now, I'm a spy. Um, so, I'm actually going to spy these two. And I'm only doing that just so I can buy time. Now, when you want to actually bomb people is what you guys probably might ask yourself. So, you only want to bomb people when people are playing like a double Mabel style coverage and they're putting a spy. So, basically, they're rushing like two or one players. Or if they are rushing a, a base three. So, if they're playing like, you know, obviously a regular cover three like this and they have a spy in the middle or something like that. Then what you'd want to do is just try to buy time in the pocket. So, maybe if you have a good offensive lineman or, you know, something like that, then, yeah, I would do that. So, just... Keep that in mind. So that's why you see me spying people because you only want to bomb people whenever you have time in a pocket. So if somebody's constantly blitzing you every game or, you know, every down, please do not try to bomb them, you know, uh, because that's not the time to pull out a bomb play. So just wanted to make sure I did go over that because I do get people that tell me, well, you know, um, I was trying to bomb them, but I just can never do it. Or you can't do that in game. So just keep that in mind, okay? You can't always bomb every opponent. 
But uh, this video for part one is dedicated to if you have the chance, you'll know exactly how to bomb your opponent. So I promise I'm done talking. I know you guys tired of hearing me talk. So let's go and uh, snap the ball so we can go and get started right here. So basically, this is the hardest bomb to complete because you want to be able to wait and you want to basically throw him open. Now, notice we got out of range. Um, now, uh, Sam Darnold has 88 throw power, so keep that in mind, too. So, if you want to know, you know, if you can complete these passes, just go check your throw power. So, as long as he has over 88, I'm not going to say over 88, but, you know, just kind of test it out with 85, 84, you know, just see if it's even possible. But, obviously, when you're running this kind of high caliber offense, you want to have a quarterback that can get the ball out there. But, uh, regardless, basically, I like this because what's going to happen is a lot of times the user going to get caught up in, I'll call this a smoke and mirrors. Because we have no intentions of reading none of this, but it looks like we're putting it together, you know, route combos. Now, you can technically have this read up here up top, so if you don't see something, if you see something you don't like, obviously you can hit that. But what you want to do with this throw, um, you want to wait. So this is going to be the hardest bomb that we have with this particular play because it's going to take a while to get open. So you need to be able to buy time in the pocket because what's going to happen is you want to wait till he actually runs past the safety. Uh, so notice how he kind of stops his feet right here. Um, I'm going to run it one more time for you too, but notice how he stops his feet and then he keeps going and you basically want to throw him open at that point. That's when you want to let that ball go. Now, please, please, please go in practice mode and practice his throw. Please do not watch this video hop straight into a game and try it because I really don't want you guys out there throwing picks. So again, here's the setup right here. You can tell we do have cover three uh, going right here. So let me go and spot that guy. Now, I'm actually going to back off that cornerback because some of you guys might be like, well, what if they just back off the cornerback? Now, hopefully I don't get hollered at with a rush two. Um, so you just, like I said, you want to move the pocket, step up, move over here. And then basically notice how he stopped his feet. Now we got out of range, but we're still able to complete the pass. So that's exactly how you want to do it. And that's how it would look in game if somebody sends a rush to like a spy. So, you know, that, cause I happen to go against that, you know, a good bit. So you basically just want to, you know, step up, move the pocket, you know, if somebody, you know, gets chopped, you know, do whatever you can to buy time. And basically you see how our receiver right here is going to chop his feet and he's going to be able to keep running. And then we're going to be able to deliver a nice dot out there. Now, um, I do want to show you that this particular setup can be stopped. All he has to do is put his cornerback in a deep half, and that will take it away. So, uh, quickly, I'm just going to spot those two just so I don't uh, get a sack. But I just want to show you guys that that deep path actually will run back there. So, if they're putting a deep path, I just want at least want you to see what it looks like if they put one. So, notice how he takes off immediately. So, at that point, either just wait on the route bounce or literally just throw the ball away. Don't try to force that because you will 10 out of 10 throw a pick if you try to force that. Now, um, let's talk about how to bomb this other side of cover three, right? So they might think they're safe just doing this, right? So let's just say, like I said, let's just say your opponent's like, okay, I just have to deep path that side and I'm good, right? Um, let me show you what happens, right? So now we're going to go to PA bubble. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take X, put them on an in route. We're going to smart route his in route. So I like to run this on like first and 10, you know, second and maybe 11 or 12. If I take a sack or something like that. Um, that's when I like to run this because I really love this 10 yard in route. It's going to do uh, wonders for us. Now, next you want to take triangle, put them on a drag, and you want to take square and put them on a smoke screen just like this. So this is a setup right here, and you want to make sure you keep that play action. Unless they're just heavy blitzing you, but even still, I love to keep the play action uh, because all we want to do is move their user down for half a second. Then we're going to throw it over the top of his head. So notice how right here, uh, all you want to do is buy time, buy time. Then you want to come over here. Hopefully, I don't get hollered at. But and then we're going to be able to just literally throw him open. Now, there is a way to get him a little bit more wide open, which I'm going to show you in a second. Um, but... I want you to kind of pay attention to what's going on here and why I really love this. So not only can we bomb him to this side, but we can also bomb him from this side, like I said. So basically watch this. So what's going to happen is this is a deep, deep developing post route. And this third right here is going to be the one that's kind of responsible for him. So he's going to basically outrun him. But there's going to be a way we can get him open a lot sooner, which I'll show you here in a second. But uh, if you just didn't do what I'm about to tell you, then you can still complete this pass. You know, it's just a foot race at this point. It depends on your quarterback accuracy. But uh, this guy will never, ever, ever get there just because this route has ran way too deep for him to get there. And a lot of times what's going to happen, too, is if there's zone dropping, this will be a read almost 10 out of 10. So if there's zone dropping, a lot of times that purple is going to be up here because of the route concepts you can create out of this offense. So a lot of times you'll be able to dump this ball down right here because a lot of times the user is going to be up in here worried about this in route. Um, that's just what happens when I, whenever I was running this. And like I said, this is just a really fun offense, man, honestly. Um, okay, so let me uh, actually back that corner off too. Let me go and um, actually spot this guy right here. So let's go back to PA bubble over. And so I'm going to set it up the same exact way again. And this time what I'm going to do is actually take circle and I'm going to smart route his route. So notice how it's ran a lot shorter now. So I'm going to uh, put it back. So notice how deep it is, right? So when I smart route it, Look at how uh, the angle changes on the route. So what we're going to be able to do is actually get that route open a lot sooner, if that makes sense. So hopefully I get a little bit of time. So notice how now he's, oh, actually, um, 
normally they run past it, but if you want to be safe, just don't smart route it. But um, it really just, I, I've never seen that before, honestly. And it's unfortunate to happen. Let me see if I can do that again for you. Because I've never seen it, but you can always just run it regular. I promise you can. Um, it's just, if you want to get it open faster, it's, I found it better to uh, smart route it, but I'm not sure what that was. We'll, we'll see here, though. Uh, let's see if we can get it open. So let's see. Uh, moving inside my player. Okay, there it goes. I'm just throwing it at the wrong time, but just be safe. Just uh, don't smile right at them um, or play around with the practice mode. But I found it better just not to mess with it. But sometimes in game, I'm, I don't know what the issue is, but sometimes it, it did get open when I smart right at it. But hey, if you want to make sure it's consistent, just don't touch it then. Now, moving on, uh, let's talk about cover two because I want to get this video moving on a little further so it don't be too long with video. Now, with cover two, technically you can run this play stock. I, I just want to show you that real quick. And I'm spying people, like I said, just so I don't have to keep rerunning the play from getting sacked. But you can technically run this play stock and bomb cover two, but I'll show you another setup that I really like. So basically, you know, like I said, you can run this play stock and you can easily bomb cover two, no problem at all. But if you want a different way to run this, um, so I like to give myself a quick read to make. So what I mean by that is maybe if they're, um, maybe if, you know, maybe they're blitzing or, you know, something, or maybe they have a good user, then I like to take triangle and put them on a hit route. So it's the same concept, but now I basically have somebody to playmaker. So let's say I wanted to playmaker that guy or something, and you can see, we're still going to be able to bomb. Now I got out of range. That's the only reason that pass was like that. But basically that's why I like to put that hit route, because if we have something we don't like, or maybe it's not open how we want, or maybe they play this style of defense right here. Like if they play this style of defense, then um, we'll have an option. And if they play this style of defense, we can actually still bomb this defense uh, just to let you know, just not out of this play. So like I said, maybe if we didn't see square like we wanted, so then I could play make a triangle and then, you know, pick up some extra, you know, garbage yards, what I call those, where you get like two, three yards, maybe four with a broken tackle, but you're keeping positive yards. So that's another way I like to do that. Now, um, I do want to show you cover two from the other side, because you might be curious. Like I said, we could bomb just about every single covers from both sides. So now let's go ahead and go to PA bubble over. So with PA bubble over, we're gonna use the same exact setup. Take X, put them on in route, smart route is in route. Take triangle, put them on a drag, square on a smoke screen. Then we're gonna go ahead and snap the ball. And what you're gonna be able to notice is that it's legit the same exact thing. Like look how wide open that gets right there. And uh, like I said, you just wanna be able to move the pocket. That's all you wanna do, just buy yourself some time. If they're sending a rush, a base rush three or four, um, you can definitely have enough time for that. It's just Praxmo sheds are absolutely crazy. So I'll show you one more time. And I'm actually not going to spy anybody because, you know, I do have people that say, well, you'll never have enough time to throw that and all that. So this is just for y'all, you know. Um, but like I said, practice mode is it's, it's real crazy to buy time in practice mode because they just they just shed like it's no business. So like I said, right here, you can tell easily you can buy time to uh, create this uh, throw for yourself. So that's how you can do that, you know. So now what's cool about this is that you might be saying, OK, real. What if they just play, like I said, this style of defense, right? Uh, now, I'm going to spy people because I, I want to have a little bit of time so I don't have to keep running this over and over. But you might be saying, okay, well, what if they do this right here? Now, let me show you that we can actually bomb this. So let's go to PA Bubble Over and let's take, do the same exact setup, the same one that I just showed you guys right here. And watch what happens with the circle route. So we want to buy a little time, uh, maybe step up, and then look at, look at that throw that we created for ourselves. We are actually able to run straight past that uh, middle third. Now, I'm going to run it one more time for you guys, then I'm going to replay and just show you why this is getting open and show you what your opponent might try to do for a counter to this and show you how we can counter that counter, if that makes sense. So, let's go back to PA Bubble Over and I'm going to set it up. You guys already know the setup right here. So, I'm going to just do it real quick. Boom, right? Now, um, let me just show you. Like I said, just show you that, yes, it does get open again. And look at just how it gets wide open, you know? So, there is nothing that they can do about that as far as that middle third. I ain't gonna say nothing they can do about it. I'll show you what they'll try to do, and I'll show you what it looks like when they try to do that. But first and foremost, I just want you to watch this middle third. So the reason I tell you guys to keep the play action is because if they are not pass committing, what's gonna happen is he's gonna do this little slow little shuffle right here. Uh, not him. He's gonna do this slow little, little shuffle. He's gonna come up, and by that time, um, normally this guy is already going to be explosive because this should be your fastest player. And also with this in route, it actually holds them. So when they don't pass commit, he actually kind of like acts like he's going to play it, kind of shuffles like he's a middle third. Excuse me, like he's a mid -read. He almost plays it like a mid -read, Then he's like, oh, hey, I'm actually a middle third. And by that time, look at this. Because look where the safety is. Because it actually glitches out the safety because his route is so deep. And then now, look at this throw. I can literally throw this ball right now. And that is such an easy throw. And this is our fastest receiver, by the way. So that's why I said that throw is actually going to be wide open. Now, this is, you heard me mention, what your opponent can try to do is they can actually try to pass commit. Now, we're going to be smart players. 
So uh, let's go and smart pass commit for the uh, defense. Now, if somebody's taking their guy and bringing him back here, you know, to me, he's not a good player. Why? Because that means that he's saying that I'm daring you to run the ball. We have halfback base, we have inside zone, and we also have outside zone. So there should be no reason why we get uh, why we can't have positive yards if they're backing their guy all the way out, right? So what most people are going to do, they're going to probably back their guy up maybe a little bit, like a tiny bit to where you really just can't tell what he's doing. Um, they may even bring him down some more just to kind of, um, you know, do it like that. And they're going to pass commit. So I just want to show you that. Now, um, let's go back to PA Bubble Over. Let's set up the same exact setup. The same one, man. And like I said, it's all about just buying time in the pocket. And if you can, you want to step up into this throw. And it's going to make that throw even more, not even more wide open, but you can tell. We're still getting that throw out there. Now, quickly, I just want to take you a look at the uh, middle third now that I pass committed and I back him up a tiny bit. Um, just so you can see how he kind of played and react. So notice now when I pass commit, notice how that middle third actually goes straight back to where he's not affected. But he's, he doesn't just take off and go back there. Look at this shuffle. And I believe it's because of this in route that's making him hold for half a second. And what that half a second does, it allows our receiver to just run straight past you know him and be able to run past that safety and be able to create that easy, easy throw for us for a one-play touchdown. So your opponent is going to have to do a lot just to even worry about that. So next thing, well, last, well, nah, I can't talk. Let's talk about cover four drop, then man coverage, then we'll be done with the video. Now, cover four drop, unfortunately, you can't really, well, you can. Um, so with cover four drop, I'll go and show you what it looks like if you don't do anything. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you now, you want to smart route this route. But if you don't do anything, it's basically going to turn into a foot race between you and that safety. So kind of watch how that safety plays. So notice how he's like basically bracketing him from being able to run. And notice how, wow, that's crazy. I caught that. <laughs> but notice how it was tough for that uh, throw to be there. Now, I'm going to go back to code four drop. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and spy that guy right here. So let's go ahead and set it right back up again. So PA bubble over. Take X, put him on the end route, smart route it. Try him on the drag, square on the hitch. And now let's actually smart route that route and let me just show you exactly how uh, more wide open that gets. So notice how now he's able to run straight past them and now we're able to bomb him, you know, for like I said, for a one play touchdown. So uh, if they want to sit in cover for drop, they literally cannot even sit in that. Now, if they're playing cover for drop, the good thing, well, the cool thing I should say is that we can actually bomb them to the other side using this play right here. Now, I like to just take triangle, put him on the in route, smart route his in route and take circle and put him on a drag. This is how I love the bomb cover for drop. Um, this also will bomb a couple match coverages as well, uh, but you'll just have to, I, I could do a, maybe a part three on it, I, I haven't decided yet, but look at Square, he's basically just going to get wide open right there, going to be able to run straight past him, maybe you can make that guy miss, potential one play touchdown, so we can bomb cover for a drop from both sides, excuse me. Now, last coverage I want to talk about in this video, because this video is already getting kind of long, is man coverage, yes we can bomb man coverage, but um, technically we can bomb man coverage out of this play. Um, what I would suggest you do if you wanted to use this play, like if you just legit wanted to, you could take triangle, put them on a slant. So now basically we're going to have a slant that we can read. We're going to have this crossing route, which normally does pretty good against man. And we have this in route. And also I believe this setup will actually split the safeties. Um, and also there's one more setup I want to try to, um, which I I'll remind you guys in a second. But I want to see if this guy actually split those safeties and man coverage. I actually did not test this one out. Um, yep. So notice how the safety moves. So if you get a win animation out right there, obviously we did not win. Um, at the line of scrimmage, but if you win at the line of scrimmage and you win on that route, you can actually split uh, man coverage with this particular, you know, with this particular setup. Now, this setup is good because you want to make a high-low read between this slant and actually this route right here to the end route. That's normally how you want to read that, um, and your user is going to be somewhere up in here, somewhere up in here. So, uh, like I said, it all just depends on what style of man they're playing, but anyways, what I wanted to show you guys is, oh, this also, this route is right here, really good against man coverage, especially if you have receiving back, it's really, really nice. Uh, but regardless, well, I kind of watch this. So notice how uh, basically we don't really get a super win animation. Notice how he's kind of pressing our receiver right there. And then no, no, yeah, I can't talk. Notice how we don't get any separation. So that's why this throw was not open. But you could tell if you get a super win animation or something like that, like Devontae Adams on who knows or something like that, you can actually split that safety right there. We'll split those safeties for the one play touchdown. So um, another thing I wanted to talk about too is let's go back to man coverage. So we can bomb it from that way, correct? Now, let's talk about from the other side. So we can actually use that PA bubble over. And technically, we could, we could use the same setup technically. But um, the only problem is that the only man beater that we have is basically X and circle. Those are only two man beaters that we have. So a better setup that I like is take a triangle, putting them on a slant, and then take a square, putting them on a drag. And I like to actually motion over this guy. Now, you could technically use the other setup to where you don't have to motion anybody. 
but I like this because that backside drag can't get open and you want to read that in route and watch circle uh now I'm not gonna have enough time to throw it oh I did I did um wow I still had enough time to get that out there we still actually was able to get the win but I could have been through that ball early I just thought I was about to get sacked I forgot I put him in the spot but uh, long story short, let me go ahead and show you the replay, and then this is pretty much going to be the video. So no matter what style of man coverage they play, oh, actually, I want to talk about one more thing before the video is over. But uh, a lot of times, you can still stay in the pocket. You don't have to drift that way like I did. I just did it just because, honestly. But this is what I was talking about. I thought I was going to take a sack right here, but then he swerved off, and i, I never seen that before. But anyways, um, this route right here is really, really glitchy just because, I mean, it, we, it's almost like we constantly get win animations on this route. So you can tell right there, I could have been through that ball. The safety's nowhere in sight, and that's another way that you could bomb man coverage. Now, last thing, I know I said it the last thing, but this I promise it is because what I didn't test out is deep half in this guy over here. Uh, so let's let's just do double deep halves because that's what most people would do if they have to deep half most people just go ahead and double deep half now um keep in mind if they're double deep half and they're going to be giving up corner routes all night and if they're zone dropping they're going to be giving up the flats all night to try to play double mabel they're giving up the middle all night so it's answers for everything that's all basically that's what i was getting at but um i want to see if this setup will actually be able to not be guarded basically i couldn't think of the word <laughs> but anyway let's go ahead and snap the ball and that's gonna be a video i just i just want to see something because you guys might be curious too uh what a deep half yeah we can actually okay well i don't know i want to try it again because that looked it kind of it looked like it was there though right let me let me hop the replay really quick and i appreciate you guys that are still here man i appreciate y'all so much uh drop a like if you're still here man or drop a comment if you're still here i appreciate y'all but it looks like this throw is still here because notice how he just doesn't actually go guarded we might have to actually put this guy over here we might have to put him on a streak to actually hold that safety so that safety doesn't get a jump on it like that but look at that that throw is there that throw is there let me you know what let me try it again um so let's go and uh go back to pa bubble over let's take x put him on in route we're gonna set up the same exact way and then now let's actually back off that cornerback and let's just do double deep halves there we go but like i said that throw just looks like it's there um and a lot of times people use this defense too because they feel like it's safe and if this defense doesn't end up being safe no that, that's there i'm sorry that's there I, I gotta try it out one more time and if not then um i'll go ahead in the video but like i said I, I hope you guys are kind of just watching too so i mean a lot of a lot of you guys are gonna practice this practice you know i'm gonna spy everybody because I, I, I just don't want to deal with it actually i just want i just really just want to know if this throw is there because it just looks like it's there there we go right here i right, just gonna stop the ball and just see what's going on here so they're still trying to blitz that's crazy but let's step up in the pocket oh is it there it's actually there <laughs> so you can actually bomb a deep half like it, it's 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 there um i'm gonna go back and replay kind of take a look at it one more time but you can test this out yourself but we can actually bomb that deep half that is actually crazy so kind of watch how he just doesn't actually he kind of responds but he just sits there and then we are able to run straight past him and throw it over his head but you have to step up in the pocket for that to happen so yeah this this play is actually really crazy so uh next thing i want to try well last thing i should say let's double deep half again but what I want to do now is actually put a streak on the field to see if that can um, hold that safety. So um, that safety can actually not run over there as fast. So let's go PA bubble over. So we're going to take X, put him on a streak. And then we're going to take triangle, put him on a drag. And we'll just take square, put him on a hitch just to see. Um, we're basically going to do it like this. And let's just see because, man, if this, is, if this gets open too, that's actually going to be crazy. So let's see if it works how we want it to. Nope, uh, so streak doesn't work. So if you want this route to get open, just go ahead and take him and actually just throw him on a hitch and do the same exact setup. Um, don't put X on a streak. Uh, so let's just test that out one more time. I know I've been saying one more time for a while now. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm actually kind of excited because I, I didn't know that actually. I, I didn't know. So uh, let's go to PA bubble over and I promise I'm done after this. All right, I'm, I'm done after this. <laughs> so let's just see. Um, buy a little time here. Can we buy time? Yeah, like you can... I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I got out of range, but I don't know. Y'all test it out. Try it in game. Let me know. But anyways, this is going to wrap up for the video. I do hope you guys have a blessed day. I'm Ray Drill, and I'm out.